Speed made good, practice problem one reads, at 10.14 you depart the entrance to Lake Montauk with light one close aboard. At 12.30 your position is latitude 41.20, longitude 71.40. What was the speed made good? We are going to use distance, speed, and time in this problem. I'm gonna write those down. Distance, speed, and time. Distance we're going to get from the chart. Speed is what we're figuring out. And time was given in this problem. We can figure it out. It said we left at 1014. We got there at 1230. You take your end time minus your start time to get the change in time. So we are looking at 1230 minus 1014. All right? Yeah, 1014. Now, so we can take 14 away from 30. Just got a borrow here. Six. We get 16 minutes. Two hours and 16 minutes. This time must be in hours for it to go into this formula, right? We said this distance, speed, time. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. This is just in hours. So two is okay. But 16 minutes, we need to divide by 60 to get hours. And you know what's interesting here? Remember, use your mental math. 16 minutes, we know 15 minutes is about a quarter of an hour or 0.25 hours. And 30 minutes is about half of an hour or 0.5 hours. So we know if we don't get something really close to 0.25 hours, something's going on here. So we go 16 divided by 60, 16 divided by 60, equals 0.27 good 0.27 hours so we have 2.27 hours right our time is 2.27 hours now we can get a distance off the chart we're just going to find our starting point Lake Montauk light one close aboard good at 12.30, our position is 41.20, 71.40. That happens to land right where a parallel and a meridian intersect. Here's 41.20, and here's 71.40, right here. There we are. Now we need to draw a line and measure it. Now you see this is it's too long, right? These are parallel rules. We can just make sure they touch. Get that click, make sure they touch. And now we can use the insides to start our line. Close them up and we can finish our line. And we need a line because we need to figure out the distance of this line. And drawing a straight line gives us a nice straight reference plane. So we'll get Five nautical miles on our divider. It's just really easy to count by. Make sure it's accurate. If you're, yep, just make sure it's accurate. Because if you have any mistake right here in your dividers, you're gonna notice that it, it multiplies. Every time you walk, that mistake shows up again. So five, 10, 15, 15 plus, just scoot it down to here. So we have 15 plus this distance, which is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19.6. Our distance from start to finish is 19.6. 19.6 nautical miles. This speed is equal to distance divided by time. Distance divided by time equals 19.6 nautical miles divided by 2.27 hours. 2.27 hours equals, we'll get out the calculator, 19.6 nautical miles divided by 2.27 hours equals 8.63, so we say 8.6 nautical miles per hour. 8.6 nautical miles per hour, which is equal to 8.6 knots. Let's check our answers. Here's what we're looking for. 
8.6 knots. Let's check to make sure it's right. 8.6 is C for number one. Go to the answers. Number one is C. So the answer to speed make good practice problem number one is 8.6 knots, letter C.